If you're using Midjourney to create colouring pages, then stick around and watch this video because I'm going to share a huge list of cheat codes which will help you create much better designs. Now, before we get into today's video, there's one thing that I want you to do if you haven't already done so, and that's come through and watch this video. This video is my free mid-journey prompt crafting guide for colouring pages. Now, I share lots of great tips and great stuff within that video, which will help you create better prompts, but this video, in combination with today's video, you're going to be able to create much better designs. Now in that video just there, which I want you to come through and watch, I shared a bunch of different drawing styles. I also shared a bunch of descriptive words and also an example prompt on how to craft your prompts for coloring pages. Now with these descriptive words just here, this is just scraping the surface. Now today's video, I'm going to share a huge resource, which is essentially a bunch of cheat codes that you can use in your prompts. So this video, in combination with today's video, is just going to help you become much better at crafting your prompts. Now, if you want to go and watch that video, I will link it down in the description. So, here we are with today's resource, this massive resource of keywords. Again, this is just essentially a bunch of cheat codes that you can use within your prompts to create much better designs, much better coloring pages. Now, right here, we have some categories. What I'm going to do is run through these and I'm going to share the ones which I reckon are much better for creating coloring pages because not every single keyword here is suitable for creating coloring pages so let's go ahead and run through these now these are all categories there's crystal just the style landscape old versions and tree now in this video because i don't want to make it mega long we're just going to go through just the style and then a little bit in landscapes because just the style if we open that just here we can see even more categories. Now, under these categories is where you're going to find all of these amazing keywords. So there's artists, camera, colors and palettes, combinations, design styles. Now we're going to take a look at design styles, drawing and art mediums, and a couple of others as well. So I've already got this opened up in a new tab. This is design styles. So you can use some of these in combination with your prompt to actually create much better designs. Now right here, if we click on this, like so, we're going to see some keywords that we could start possibly using. Simple, simplicity, basic. Now these are all standard ones. If we keep scrolling through, we're going to see complex, complexity, multiplex, and just so many great keywords. Now if we keep scrolling, you can take a look, minimalist. That's actually a great keyword if you're trying to get simple keywords. No, simple coloring pages. But come through and take a look at this resource anyway. I am going to share it down in the description. But then there's patterns, elegance and beauty, decade styles, morphism, and so many more. Now, if you're trying to create, let's say, psychedelic, trippy colouring books, as they do sell pretty well on Amazon, if we take a look here, there's a bunch of different keywords that you could potentially use within your colouring pages. Psychedelic, psychedelic design, trippy, acid wave. Now, that one looks really great. LSD, DMT, kaleidoscope, and so many others. Now, if we keep scrolling down, you can see all of these just here. But if we go to here, there's even more. So there's also art styles. So some of these are really great, which you can play around with just to see what you can create within Mid Journey. Pop Art, Warhol, I can't say that word, so I won't bother. Lo-fi, Hi-fi, High Fidelity, and again, so many great keywords. Now, this is just one category. This is just under design styles. But then one of the best ones is just here. This is drawing and art mediums. So if we go back to here 
it's just under just the style and then it's under drawing and art mediums now if we take a look at these there's so many great keywords that you can use within your prompts just to create much better coloring pages so if we click on here illustration and drawing now there's drawing types pencil and graphite ink crayon chalk and pastel now if we click on drawing types we can see where these keywords are really going to help create better coloring pages the sketch drawing doodle hand drawn handwritten children's drawing masterpiece dot art pointillism stipple line art so line art's one that i actually use quite a lot as well then there's crosshatch and even more figure drawing look at that so you could potentially use that in a coloring page depending on what type you're trying to create but then storybook illustrations illustrations whimsical and so many great keywords then that's just under that first one then there's pencil and graphite so pencil art graphite charcoal art all of these just here are potential keywords that you can use in your prompts and each different keyword is going to get a different result so again if you're not too sure on how to craft your prompts as of yet i highly suggest going through and watching my previous video because that's really going to help you out so that video in combination with this video you're truly going to become really great at creating coloring pages now there's also ink so there's lots of keywords just here that you can play around with there's also crayon more keywords under that then paint text and all of these others as well now there's another one which i want to go under and this is under themes so if we go back to here scroll all the way down to the bottom it's under here themes now under here there's some really other great keywords, descriptive keywords, that you can use. There's some for realism, retro, sci-fi, rooms, architecture. So if you're creating any type of house colouring book or anything like that, you can then use some of these keywords. But there's seasonal and weather, time of day, music styles, cartoons colors moon based themes and other so if we click on this first one if you're trying to create something like a realistic coloring book on a certain type of person then you can use these type of keywords so there's realistic hyper realistic hyper real photo realistic and so many other great keywords this is an absolute gold mine if you're trying to become good at prompt engineering and crafting your prompts look at all these wonderland lucid deja vu abstract just so many great keywords now if we keep scrolling down to here we can take a look at retro so there's retro retro wave nostalgia um, vintage antique cyberpunk so many keywords it's absolutely crazy just how many there is now another one that you might want to check out is the cartoons and anime comics now i'll stick stay away from something like marvel comics but there's cartoon anime anime core manga kawaii all great keywords if you're trying to create coloring pages now stay with me because there's just one more that we're going to take a look at and that was under landscapes now i'm going to show you this one because there's a few great keywords in here that you may want to use if you're creating some type of landscape coloring book now if we go on to there we can see there's views angles and perspective now under angles these are ones that i'd never even thought of there's low angle high angle if we go under views there's top view side view satellite view i probably wouldn't use that in a coloring page or a coloring book but it's all about experimenting and seeing what you can create but close up close up view extreme close up centered shot selfie again just all great keywords that you can use to create your coloring pages and become so much better at creating them.
So, like I said, I highly recommend going through and watching my previous video so you can get an understanding on how to craft your colouring pages and then come through and just start trying out these keywords in combination in your prompt. Now again, I'll also leave a link for this down in the description below as well so you can come through and check it out. And if you liked this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and also hit subscribe. And if you want to watch the rest of my AI videos, then click right here and watch this playlist.